I did. He's always already going. Never tells us when. Oh, we're on. I think so. Well, good for us. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, we're all full of sniffles and snuffles and coughs and everything this morning. I think Josh might be coughing back there for a little while and moving the camera up and down. I will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Hey, Rachel. Yes. You know what Mrs. Claus said when she stepped outside and looked up at the sky? No. She was talking to Mr. Claus. She looked up in the sky and she said, looks like rain, dear. Reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Dad. <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> at least it wasn't a Chuck Norris Christmas joke. Oh. That's right. There are not many of those. No. Christmas is a joyful time. That and Chuck Norris usually don't go together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're here in the hardware store uh, talking about Christmas because how many days is it? Three? It's almost here. Yeah, my kids know how many days it is. I still have a ton of wrapping to do um, just because I've been throwing everything in the basement. They won't go down there. It's scary. So I just put everything down there. Good. But now I have to wrap it. Spend a lot of time in the basement. <laughs> it is kind of scary. Um, but we're here because... We've got some awesome last minute gifts that you might uh, be still looking for. I know there's a couple people still on my list. I got your present already, sorry Good. dad. I don't shop at the hardware store for this guy because it's just moot at that point. Um, but if you have someone on your list that still needs a gift and we have something here at the hardware store, we can help you out. And look, gifts under have, $20. Yeah, Thea made these wonderful end caps uh, here, down here in Timberville that showcases the diversity of items that we carry in this hardware store. My personal favorite are the headphones. They eat, look, it even has a little hammer on it and screwdrivers. That is the fashion accessory for the handyman in your life. <laughs> um, Come on, but yeah, we got, Go right ahead. sorry. We, Do your thing. Limited space and a lot of stuff. Yep. Um, you know, I actually met a man in Colorado wearing those suspenders when I went out there to hunt. Yeah. There's a lot of people who wear those yeah. suspenders. I know, but it just it, it brings choice. a memory to me every time I see them. <laughs> this is a nifty little tool set for the lady of the house. Um, take it out, put it in that drawer in the kitchen, and she won't be bothering your tools. <clears throat> She'll be using hers with the pink hand. You know, honestly, Christian steals my tools. Real. Because I'm the one who does, does all the home improvements at our house. He's in the hardware store during the day. He doesn't want to come home and do hardware stuff at home. So he steals my stuff every once in a while. I don't know if he would use those, though. <laughs> yes, Randy, your wife said she wants tools for Christmas. Yeah. Really? And I would recommend if you have someone who is really wanting to do home improvement projects, don't get them a little dinky set like that because that's for things like uh, putting up your picture frames, tightening a few bolts around the house. You don't want to be doing heavy-duty work with that short-handled hammer, right, Dad? Probably not. Probably not. Really great for getting inside the cabinet, though. Yeah. You're sneaking around in your purse. It's your self-defense weapon. <laughs> Quick reminder, we've still got, uh, looks like, six of the rotary cookbooks for only 20 bucks. Makes a great gift. Yeah. And supports a good cause. Yeah, we've got a lot of little things. We've got a lot of big things around here still. Um, we've got our under 100 gifts. We just got these really cool things in. Uh, someone saw these on Facebook and said, hey, can you get those in? And so we did. Um, they're a kindling cracker. And you put your log on top and then just whack it. Instead of, um, instead of wielding an ax or a hatchet, it, the blade's down here in the bottom part so you don't have to swing things around that might have a sharp blade on it. Um, but we've got power tools, we've got heaters, we've got... Hey, Josh. Don't get cleaning supplies for anybody this Christmas, because that's just me. But, um, awesome deal on that Porta Cable <coughs> angle grinder okay. for only $24.99. That's a 6 amp Porta Cable. Uh, they came in a little late, uh, so we're featuring them on an end cap. Uh, I think that tool normally sells for in the 50 couple dollar range. And we've got them on sale for $24.99 because we don't want to count them come December 31st. We still do that? We do. Mm -hmm. right. We still do that. Yes, we do. <laughs> Inventory. Um, yeah. 
Well, Dad, I wanted to ask you a few questions about Christmas because it's all well and good to showcase what we have here in the store, but people want to know about you. Oh, really? Yes. They want to know the man, the mystery, the Randy of Randy's Hardware. Um, so what is your favorite holiday memory? Oh, my goodness. Do you have a favorite? Oh, I've got lots of favorites. Um, they just kind of get all jumbled together, but... Well, that's what Christmas One of my is about. favorite uh, memories is when you guys were old enough to uh, really know and appreciate Christmas and just to see the look on your all's faces on Christmas morning coming down the steps and seeing all that stuff under the tree and uh, we both know that uh, your mother gets a lot of joy out of buying Christmas presents. Yep, that's her uh, love language and yes. we were spoiled rotten, sorry that's to right. say. But that's always a good memory. The, the smells of Christmas, you know, the, you know, I can still remember how some of the plastic toys that I got as a kid, I, for some reason or other, I still remember how they smell and how those old cedar Christmas trees that, you know, my dad and I and, the, and my brothers would go out and, and we'd cut a cedar Christmas tree and bring it in the house. And uh, just that smell, whenever I go around and I smell a cedar, it brings back those memories. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I remember, uh, you once told a story about a guy that would come around when you were a kid and had a bag on his head and scared the little children. <laughs> That's one of those memories I try to block out. But oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it was like Snickle Fritz or oh, gosh. one of those German traditions where there's a creepy uh, old guy. Krampus. It he wasn't Krampus, but it was... Uh, one of those guys. <coughs> yeah, he got, I don't rem I remember that vaguely, but I remember he'd scare the life out of us kids, and then he would just laugh, and he'd yeah. always give us a piece of candy after it was over, so. They don't do that so much anymore. <laughs> We're gonna have to I feel like he had Halloween and Christmas back. No, no, no it was definitely Christmas. <laughs> and we're going to have to ask mom about that, because there was a name for him. It was, uh, There's a couple different ones. Yeah. It's all kind of Germanic, that area, but yeah. Yeah, I do. I remember a little bit about that. Bit. <laughs> He's blocked that from his memory. I, one of my favorite toys when I was a kid, I remember very distinctly, and I've looked for something for my grandkids ever since. I mean, for years I've been looking. Uh, but I remember a little, a little <coughs> double-barreled shotgun that shot rubber darts and a little mechanical rabbit that you'd set on the floor, oh. and he would run in circles, and you'd shoot at him, and if you hit him, he'd fall over. Oh, that's cute. And, uh, that was, we played with that thing for hours and hours and hours and days after Christmas. How many times did you get yell at, yelled at for shooting your brothers with it? Oh, we didn't do that. That okay. was something that was really frowned That's on. That's good. <laughs> now they got Nerf guns that you actually shoot people with. <laughs> yeah, that one sounds fun though. Yeah, I enjoyed, uh, and now I enjoy Christmas with the grandkids, uh, especially if I can find, you know, a little competitive type game that we can all play together. Okay. Uh, yeah. That makes it special. Last time they were all over at his house, he had them shooting BB guns in the backyard, seeing who could hit the hit the little blocks, little blocks of wood in the, next to the shop. Uh, yeah, well, my favorite memory of Christmas at my parents' house is we do it every year. Mom makes a taco dip, yeah, and then we drink eggnog and decorate the Christmas tree, and everybody gets a big tummy ache because it's not a good combination. Yeah. I was going to say taco dip and eggnog. <laughs> yeah, but I make her make it every year because it's my favorite dip. And you just have to have it at Christmas. <laughs> and it's, it's weird, and I love it, but we do it every year. Um, and we would love to hear your Christmas traditions. Um, write down in the comments what you do at Christmas. Everybody has a little bit different spin on, on Christmas um, or the holiday season if you're not celebrating Christmas this year. Um, and I wanted to let you know our holiday hours, but I left my paper over there on that end cap, so I'm going to run and grab it. <clears throat> And while she's doing that, I'll just take an opportunity to wish everybody a very, very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous and Happy New Year. Yeah. So, our Christmas hours are this coming Sunday, we're open 10 till 4. We're normally open 10 till 5, right? Right. So, we're closing just an hour early for Christmas Eve. Um, we are closed Christmas Day. That is Christmas and Easter, I think, are the only days Mom and Dad shut down the store. Um, so, we're closed on Christmas. Uh, the day after Christmas, we're not opening until 10.30, so I hope you all sleep in and get some rest, and if don't have any plumbing emergencies that morning, 
But if you do, that's, is that for taco dip and eggnog recovery? No, no, <laughs> yes, no. So. Yeah. That's happened already. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no more taco dip this year. <laughs> that's, we have to wait till next year. Um, then the New Year's Eve, we're open 10 to 4 again. And then January 1st, we're open normal hours. And we'll be back to our normally scheduled program after that. Um, and we're so happy that you guys have tuned in all year. And this is our last Facebook Live of the year. So do you have another joke to take us out on? What do snowmen eat for breakfast? <clears throat> Cheerios? Frosted flakes. Darn. Ding. <laughs> and remember, we don't mind your questions. We don't mind them at all. Happy Christmas. <laughs>